Hey guys, what's up? I look a hot mess because this is a get ready with me, you know? So, I'm just gonna be getting ready. Uh, might listen to some music, might listen to some pops. Um, what else? I don't know, it's just gonna be a chill, like, chit-chat kind of video. So, um, if you want me to do my intro... Anyways, if you're new to my channel, just go ahead and go hit that subscribe button down below. And make sure you have your post notifications turned on so you can get notified every single time I upload videos like this. Ding! I know I haven't been uploading. I know it's been, like, a while. Because, um... I started volleyball for school and um I literally have like no life because I have practice like every single day and yeah so I'm gonna try and post as often as I can but um yeah so I'm just gonna get ready for my game that I have today so I'm just gonna do my hair, my makeup, things like that. I have a wacky like stand thing. I have a phone case that has like those lights or whatever. And um, yeah, my room is kind of messy. Don't mind it. Um, I'm just gonna, you know. So how's life for you guys? My life is uh, pretty boring, uh, pretty basic. So um, yeah, I've already. Okay, anyways, but like, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to talk about in this video. I thought about like writing a list down of like what I was going to write, but um, I didn't. So I'm just going to go with the flow. This is like, I like watching like these get ready with me videos. Like while I'm getting ready or like while I'm cleaning or, you know, just doing something or like when I'm bored. So, you know, feel free to like go clean your room while you're film watching this or whatever you want this video is probably going to be long most likely probably but i don't know i'm not gonna show you guys like in depth like what my products are because i filmed a video i filmed an, uh like my everyday makeup routine um i'll link that down below make sure you all watch that mm -hmm. plug by plug but um yeah so like i said i have all the practice every single day so I don't know how often I'm going to post during the school year because, um, yeah, like, I just don't know. I'm going to try and post as often as I can, but, um, yeah, I just don't know because it's not going to be my first year in high school. Yay for me. <laughs> Honestly, I kind of, I used to love school, like, so, so much, but now I just don't. I really don't. My tripod thingy broke. I mean, this is, like, a little one. That I bought for like when I vlog or something like that. But it broke. So I'm going to be like. uh, I don't feel like buying another one. So I'm going to. Um, now it wants to work. I'm just going to. Um, tape it. <laughs> yes. Tape it. But anyways. So. Like I said. How was life? You know. Comment down below. How it's going. Because. I just want to know. I don't want to seem boring, but um, sometimes I am just kind of boring. I, I'm really mellow, like to my. I keep. I like. I don't like really um doing a lot of things because I don't know. Like I don't know. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Like my gosh, <laughs> crazy. Honestly, let's just go on a rant. Like, let's see. Like, I'm low-key. I don't know. I'm not really nervous about my me going into school. I'm really not nervous, like, at all whatsoever. I'm just, like, more excited to, like, just get it over with. I guess I am a little bit nervous, but, like, eh. I just want to see, like, what's going to happen, you know? I want to see, like, what's going to happen, like, 
Like, am I gonna meet? I really want to meet new friends. Like, make new friends. Obviously, I like the friends that I have now because, like, they wouldn't be my friends if I didn't like them. But, I mean, you know, it's always good to meet new people. You never know what's going to happen. I'm not those kind of people. I'm not that kind of person that goes, like, that, like, goes to, like, not, like, goes to people, but, like, is the one, I'm just more of, like, the person that, like, I will just, like, sit there and be, like, all alone somewhere or something like that. But then, like, if somebody comes to talk to me or something like that, then yeah, I'll start talking to you and, like, eventually, like, build a friendship. That's, like, how I build my friendships. I don't know how other people do it, but if you do it a different way, I don't know, comment down below. I don't know. But, um, yeah. I'm using this pencil. I've been using this pencil for a little bit to try it out. Um, it's the NYX I powder eyebrow powder pencil um just looks like that i don't know the one that i really want to get i want to get the i the anastasia pencil because i really like that sorry i don't talk while i do my eyebrows because like i have to concentrate you guys can't even see okay. no but when i do my eyebrows i have to do it like close up because then i'm like whoa so i found this like because I didn't know what to talk about, so I found, like, these, this thing on Pinterest, and it's, like, questions, and it says, like, the first one, like, list 20 facts about yourself, um, let's see, I'm a really, like, easy, I feel like I'm a really easygoing person, like, I can, like, I don't know, I'm not really big in drama like I used to be. Because I remember, like, in elementary school, a girl was all about that drama. But I don't know. I might make that a video. Like, an updated uh, 50 facts or something like that. Because I was, like, looking. I don't know. I was just, like, glimpsing through my channel. And I was looking at, like, old, um, like, my old videos or whatever. And, oh, my gosh. I need to remake that video. If you guys want me, want me to remake some of my old videos, I totally would. Just let me know down below. Oh, my gosh. Yes. That was so funny. I'm just going to the next one. Describe three legitimate fears you have and explain about how they became fears. Um, I used to be so scared of bugs, but now I don't really care about bugs. But um, my main fear, like my number one fear is like death, like of dying. Even though we all die at some point, I just want to be ready for when I die. You know what I mean? Because, like, I don't know. I'm just, that's like my number one fear. Like, is I'm afraid to die. Like, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to die young, you know, something like that. That's my, like, number one, my fear is that I'm afraid to die. Um, a second one? I'm going to get deep because who doesn't love deep? I'm afraid of disappoint, like disappointing people. Like I don't like being the one who, um, you know, who's always making mistakes. But not like, obviously, like people make mistakes, yeah, and I I make mistakes. But like I'm afraid of like, you know, disappointing like my family, disappointing my friends or something like that. Because I'm I like to always be there for people and like. I always like to do my best and try my hardest, you know, be better than, be better than what, um, what, um, I can see myself as, or, like, what other people want me to be or something like that. Like, I always live by, like, you know, your parents always want you to be better than what they did, so I try to live up to that, and I feel like if I don't ever, then that would just be, like, a disappointment. I don't ever want to. disappoint you know because like i don't know i just feel like when you like i don't know disappointment that's another one of my fears like being like disappointing people um and a third one i don't think i really have a third those are my i don't really i'm not really fearful of many things you know i just like, live my life and live my life I'm making, fixing my little tripod thingy because eh, I taped it to my mirror. 
because my little tripod that I wanted to use is broken, so I can't use it. Anywho, so yeah. Number three, describe your relationship with your parents. Um, I have a really good relationship with my parents. I would say I have a better relationship than most, I feel like than most people with their parents. Like I'm really close with my mom, you know. I live with my mother. I'm really close with my mother. Um, she's like my, like, my number one, like, ride or die. Even though we do argue all the time, um, we, you know, we don't argue. Even though we all have, like, our ups and downs with our parents or whatever. Um, I remember when there was times, you know, where I hated my mother, hated my father. Like, I hated everybody. But, like, now it's just, like, good because... I, have, I feel like I do have a good relationship with my parents um, equally, but I would say I'm closer with my mother than I am my father. Just because it's natural. I feel like it's natural instinct for when you live with your mother, you have a closer relationship or a closer bond. But, um, yeah. List 10 things you would tell your 16-year-old self. Um, I'm not even past the age of 16, so I can't answer that one. Five. What are five things that make you most happy right now? Um, the five things that makes me most happy right now. Uh, YouTube. Mm -hmm. I like filming videos. I like, you know, watching YouTube. I like all those kind of things. Um, food. Um, like I said, YouTube. Um, good people. Surrounding myself with good people. The people that I surround myself with. Um, that, I feel like that's a good thing to have because, um, if you're always with people who are always, you know, who aren't, you know, who you think they are or something like that, they're not gonna, I feel like you're not gonna be fulfilled, you're not gonna be, you know, as happy or whatever. Um, another thing, uh, my parents, um, and my doggies, because... I don't know if you can see them. They're like, you can't see them. They're chillaxing on my bed right behind me. So, um, yeah, that's something that makes me happy. Um, six, what is the hardest thing you've ever experienced? Um, I would say that the hardest thing I've ever experienced was like towards my eighth grade year where I felt like I was losing all of my friends. Um, that was, and then like with my, you know, with like family um, issues with, you know, people getting sick or stuff. I feel like that was the hardest part for me because that really took a toll on me. And especially at the, like the end of my eighth grade year where, you know, exams were coming up and um, I just wasn't doing my best. And even though the year was almost over, I felt like everything i felt like it was the end of the world even though it isn't i'm good now and you know happy now but that was the the hardest thing i would say i've had to experience was that moment when i was losing my losing actually like not even losing friends but like losing my i felt like i was losing um my best friend at the time and you know, it was hard, but, um, you know, you always have to get over it and things like that. But I got over it, and I'm good now. And, you know, just live life. To the extent that you can. Next one. What is my dream job and why? My dream job is to become a trauma surgeon because that's what my dream job is a trauma surgeon. Um, I want to be a trauma surgeon in the Air Force or in the military in some sort of way. I don't want to be in the Army because um, that's too aggressive. Most likely the Air Force. That is my dream job 100%. Like, that's what I really want to be. I want to be a trauma surgeon. Ever since I watched Grey's Anatomy, like, now I'm, like, so obsessed with it. And I feel like I've gone through so many phases in my life where, I, oh, I want to be a fashion designer. Oh, I want to be a doc, uh, not a doctor. I want to be a fashion designer. I want to be a veterinarian. I want to be a teacher. I want to be all this. But I feel like being a trauma surgeon, being set, I'm either being, I've always either, ever since fifth grade, I was like, okay, I want to be a doctor. 
and then sixth grade, I was like, I want to be a PA. And, like, that was all in the medical field. And, like, ever since my seventh grade year, I was like, I want to be a trauma surgeon. So, that's, I feel like that's the thing that I'm, that's gonna, that's, I'm going to stick with. Because um, I have stuck with it. And I just want to help people. And I feel like, because... I don't feel like I can just, with me, I get bored with things like really easily. And I feel like I cannot just settle with like being like a cardiovascular surgeon or a neurosurgeon or something like that. Like just focusing on one thing. So that's why I picked trauma surgeon because that I get to do like a bit of everything. And I always like being on my toes, like knowing like, okay, this, this and that. I've always been a fast thinker. I've always been fast paced and stuff like that. So that's why I feel like I would enjoy being a trauma surgeon. The AC just turned on. Sorry, hold up. Let me close my door. Okay. That's why being a trauma surgeon is my 100% dream job. Um, hardest thing. Okay. Um, number eight. What are your What are five passions you have? Um, my number one passion is um, volleyball. I love volleyball so much. Um, I've had a hard relationship with volleyball because um, there was a time where I just felt so depressed and so down about it because I was doing it all the time, 24-7, and I felt like I was just, like, sucking and, you know, playing for volleyball, playing volleyball for four and a half years. You do have those times where you're like, man, I'm just not doing good at this. I just am not good at this or whatever, so... I've had my tough times, but now I, you know, I'm feel a hundred percent better. Like this is my sport. This is my passion. I love doing this, and um, yeah, that's why I've, I stick with it because I love it just so much. So, another one of my passions, makeup. Because I love makeup. I love playing around with makeup. It's so much fun. You get to express yourselves. In so many different ways that, you know, nobody else could. So sometimes you feel like you're not understood or something. But, like, makeup is the one thing that's always going to be there for you in the end. Um, I feel because, you know, makeup is really fun. It is fun to play with, you know. It's just a way to express yourself. And I feel like many people um, like to express themselves in many different ways. So I feel like, yeah, that's one of my passions. Another one of my passions is I would like to say YouTube. But I put so much effort into my videos that, like, I don't want... That's why I hardly ever post sometimes because I want to make a video that's, like, the best content. Or, like, I want to make a video that, you know, something, like, I would... I'm proud of, like, something, like, I would watch. So that's why, like, all the videos that I do post on my channel are videos that I would watch, you know? Because I don't want to make my video, my channel, just, like, a beauty channel when I don't just watch beauty videos. Even though I do watch beauty videos every single day, I... That's not all I watch. So I want to make videos that I also love to watch and that's why I you know have I feel like um I put so much effort in with like editing and doing all that stuff so yeah um how many was that that's two or three I don't know I lost count next one my other passion hmm Make that actually I'm gonna change makeup to like cosmetology because I love doing care and all those other things. Um, another one of my passions are helping. I love helping people. I love helping animals. Anything I love just love helping. Ever since I was young, I've always loved to help because I don't know. I feel like if you're able and if you're in this state where you can help, why not? You know. So yeah, I'm just gonna move on to the next one. List ten people you have influenced who have influenced you and describe how. When people used to ask me who I look up to or who I looked up to, I would say no one. Like, I never had anybody. When I was younger, I would say Selena Gomez because Selena Gomez was my favorite person of all time being. Like, she was just, like, my favorite. I loved her so much. She was my favorite artist and everything when I was younger. But now I feel like as I got older, um, I don't really look up to anybody. I don't, but... One person who has inspired me or influenced me to the point is NF. Like, I love NF so flippin' much. Like, it is unbelievable. Like, I listen to all his music 24-7 every single day, like, all the time. Like, he is just an incredible person. And when I listen to his... I remember the first time I've ever listened to him. 
um, I don't know, I came across it on, um, I think on Spotify or something, and it was, like, recommended for you, or, like, your mixed number, whatever, and I came across him, and I was like, wow, like, he's really good, and I just, after him, I fell in love with all his music and everything, and I've, I'm such a huge fan of him, that I love him, like, to the point where he's, like, influenced me, like, I don't know how crazy much, like, his issues I can relate to at the same time, because, you know, we all have those times, so... Yeah, I just don't want to get into it because then you're like, mm, I get all soppy and stuff. But, like, I love NF. Like, oh, I drive my mother crazy about how much I love NF because I love NF to the point where it's like I annoy my mother, like, all the time. I'm like, Mom, I want to go to NF. I want to do this. All these different things. Like, I love him so freaking much. Oh, my gosh. <sighs> you can ask my mother how much I talk about him. Like, he is so amazing. I just love him so much. He's just... An amazing human being, like, Jesus. I just, <sighs> okay, um, and that's really, I don't have 10 people because I don't have 10 people, uh, describe your most embarrassing moment, oh my gosh, okay, so this happened somewhat kind of recently, I'm gonna put myself on blast because why not, you know, people, you guys are my peoples, so, um, you know, I've had this tendency where I don't like to go to the bathroom if it's too far away or something like that because, you know, I'm very, uh, sometimes I can be lazy, um, <laughs> but, um, so, you know, I was drinking my drink, eating at Sam's Club because Sam's Club has really good pizza and it's, like, really good food, so, uh, you should go try it, um, but anyways, so I was eating and I was drinking my drink. And so my friend, one of my mom's friends, was telling like the most hilarious, funny, super funny, funny, funny story. And I was like, "Girl, stop! You're making about to make me pee on myself." And uh, next thing you know, I kept on laughing, kept on drinking my pee, keep drinking my pee. Ah! No, I did it. I kept on drinking my drink, and I ended up peeing on myself. And um, that is my most embarrassing moment. Like, crazy, crazy. Okay, number eleven. Um, describe ten pet peeves. 10 pet peeves you have um i've already done that check out my pet peeves video i have two of them part one and two they will be linked down below so go check out that description box um number 12 a typical day in your current life a typical day now consists of being that it is summer um and i don't have school anymore um i wake up around like 7 30 sometimes 8 if i make myself sleep in maybe i'll wake up at like 10 30 almost 11 um so yeah i'll sleep till then and then uh i wake up eat breakfast brush my teeth um uh get ready for volleyball practice go to volleyball practice till 6 30 and then come home eat dinner take a shower and go to bed literally my life is so boring Unless I don't have anything planned, but most of the time, I don't. Um, so, yeah. That's a typical day. I know, so boring. Describe five weaknesses, five weaknesses I have. I uh, don't have any, sorry. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, I don't really know. I've never really thought about my weaknesses. I don't know. I've never really thought about it. Um, strengths. Strength, I can tell you some strengths. Um, helpness, I don't know. I can't tell you that because I haven't thought about it either. Um, if you were an animal, what would you be and why? I would be a white tiger because there, I feel like there's some misunderstood. Like, they're, you know, nice and elegant. And, and you know, they're nice and elegant. But, you know, if you mess with them, they chop your head off real quick. So, um, yeah, I would be a white tiger. And that's my favorite animal. So, there's a question, there's a fact that you know about me. I have this pimple right here, and it's so freaking irritating. But anyways. Um, my five greatest accomplishments. Graduating kindergarten, graduating fifth grade, graduating eighth grade. Um, that's three already. <laughs> Um, I don't know, um, making good grades and 
being myself. I'm because I've never changed. I feel like I've always been myself. Ever like I don't know. I've always been myself. I've never had a change for anybody, and I feel like I would never change for anybody. Um, I don't know. I just I'm just talking to talk. Like to be honest, like at this moment, like I don't know. Um, what is the thing most you wish you were great at? Drawing. I wish I could draw. I can draw good stick people, but I wish I could draw because like all the guys in my family or like most of the people, like, most of the males in my family are like amazing drawers. And like I really wish I was good at drawing, but, but I'm just not that good at drawing because I love art. I love geometric things. I love cool art type things. Like I can glue stuff on things. I can DIY things, but painting and doing things like that, I just can't. I can't. I really wish I could. Drawing. That's the thing. Um, what has been the most difficult thing you've had to forgive? What has been the most difficult thing you've had to you've have had to forgive? Um, like I said in my like previously that um, I've had to forgive. I've had to forgive, I'm very, like, a forgiving person, like, I don't f live with grudges, I can't, I don't hold grudges upon anybody, um, I just don't, but if you've done me dirty, then I feel like at any point in time, like, I, maybe eventually I could forgive you, but, um, yeah, um, I've, have had, I've had forgiven, I've have, I have had forgiven people, um, so, yeah, that was the mo kind of the most difficult thing, um, so, yeah. Um, if you could live anywhere, where would it be and why? Hmm, that's a good one. Um, I would say the U.S. or Canada, either the U.S. or Canada. Um, I don't know, I don't want to live, I would, I don't think I would want to live in, like, a, like Brazil or like Europe or Asia, Australia, all those different exotic places. I feel like I would want to visit them, but never to live. Um, so yeah, either the U.S. or Canada. And uh, yeah, because I feel like I'm, I like to stay home. I like to stay comfy. I don't know. I don't, I'm very open-minded, very adventurous and stuff like that, but I would just visit those places, not ever, um, not ever live there. Um, if you could have one superpower, what would it be and why? To read minds. That's always going to be my thing. Some people like to say teleporting and stuff like that, but... Look, you guys. Uh, anyways, it would be to read minds because I would want to know what people are thinking or saying, like, all the time. Like, that would just be so cool. Imagine, like, reading, like, people's minds. Like, I could save the world. Like, honestly, reading people's minds. And, like, being able to control them, like, mind control and, like, reading their minds. Oh, my gosh. The best superpowers of all time. Best superpowers of all time. Okay. Where do I see myself in five years, ten years, and fifteen years? Five years... In five years, how old am I? 14. Hopefully graduated high school. Five years. The next four. Yeah, graduated high school and um, starting college. Starting on, going on with my life. Uh, Ten years. Um, starting to pursue my career. Um you know, taking off in my career, and 15, maybe finding a husband, getting married, getting married, 
and uh, yeah, just live in life. Um, list five hobbies and why you love them. Um, hobbies are things that I like to do, right, or that I do in my free time. So it would be makeup because I love to express myself through makeup. So uh, yeah, uh, another one volleyball because I feel like I get all my anger out when I do volleyball. I don't know. It's just an amazing sport. I love it so much. Um, another one of my hobbies. I can cook. I love cooking. Cooking, I love cooking so, so much. I haven't done it lately, but cooking, I love it so, so, so much. I've been using this palette because I've been trying out new makeup um, to, like, try different things. Um, this is the Revlon Make Revolution. Revolution Makeup Revolution London. I don't know. That. Um, it's just a highlighter palette. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna move on to the next question, because, um, What is the favorite part of my body and why? None of it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. My smile. I guess, I mean, it better be good because it costs money. But, um, my favorite part of my body would be my smile. And my eyelashes. My smile and my eyelashes. Um... What do I think people misunderstand about me? Um, I remember, I feel like people, I don't know. I remember in elementary school, I was like so bossy and I was like kind of mean, I guess. But I feel like people think that about me. Like, I don't know. I feel like people think that I am mean, even though like once you get to know me or something like that, I'm not mean at all whatsoever. Like, I'm the most not I'm, like, one of the nicest people, like, you will ever meet. Like, I am so nice to people. And so I think, like, some people take that for granted. Which is one thing that I do have to work on is that people like to take that for granted. But I'm just such a nice person. And I feel like that's one thing that people misunderstand about me. Is that they think that I'm just mean and I'm just, I feel like I'm not, like, I have not been, I feel, I don't feel like if you've been good to me and, like, you've been nice to me or you haven't done anything to me to hurt me or anything like that, I would be the most nicest person to you. But if you, like, if, and if you've been mean or, like, done me dirty, I just won't talk to you. Like, I won't speak to you if I haven't forgiven you or something like that. I just won't. But, um, yeah, I am such a nice person. Yeah. 10 things I hope to remember to be remembered for. I don't know. I just want to make a difference. Like when I just want to make a difference in people's lives. Like I want to make impact. Ooh. Oh. I just want um to stay true to myself and you know Show people that, you know, you can, you know, be, don't be afraid to embrace yourself. Be yourself. It's good. It's good to be yourself. You know, people will love you for who you are. It doesn't really matter. Um, to just, yeah, that's, I really want to make a difference in the world. Like, I want to do stuff. That's, like, another reason why I started YouTube was that maybe I do get big on this platform and I am able to, you know, make such a big difference on people's lives and, that's really just one thing that I do really, really want to do as I get older is just make a difference in the world. Um, but, yeah, I'm just going to set 
my brows in place. I just used the e.l.f. The e.l.f. The Ulta Brow Gel to set my eyebrows. But, yeah, that's just something that I want to do as I get older. So, yeah. Um, I don't know if you guys want me. If you guys made it this far, give this video a, just a big thumbs up, you know. Comment down below. Let's pick an emoji. Um, comment down below the snake emoji if you made it this far. So, I know how many people like watch my videos till the end or whatever. So, yeah. And then I'm just going to set my face with my mac fix plus i know a girl's getting bougie ah, no i'm just kidding i use a mixture it smells so good i use a mixture of like high-end and drugstore but i mainly use drugstore products um alta is the best place to go because in in texas where i live we don't have uh, a sephora like, uh, the nearest Sephora is, like, an hour and a half or, like, an hour away. So, we just go to Ulta because Ulta carries high-end. So, yeah, I might vlog at the game. I might vlog when I get there or something like that. But um, if I don't, um, I'm just going to say that this is the end of the video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. And comment down below what other videos you guys would like to see me make in the future. Yes, ding. So, um, remember, if anybody hasn't told you that loved you, remember, I do. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Mwah.